the two threes from there. So now you can see that the main chain has four carbon atoms and the second carbon atom has two methyl groups. So this becomes 2,2-dimethyl. Two, two I'm sorry about that. There will not be a comma, there will be a dash. So 2,2-dimethyl. Two, two, Butan, but, no, sorry, so I have made a mistake in the previous one. This will be butane null, not butanone. So I'm really sorry about that mistake. Don't get confused like I did. So uh, because it's on the terminal, it has to be on the aldehyde. So this, uh, it has to be an aldehyde. So th even this will be butanol. So 2,2-dimethyl butanol. Now, uh, does this have any stereoisomers? No, because it does not have any carbon-carbon double bond and as you can see, no chiral centers. So this will exist on its own. Now, can we have a three carbon main chain? Let's see. No, we cannot have a three carbon main chain because that is not looking so feasible. So where will I place my methyl groups? I can place two over here and then I place one again over here. So again, this would not be feasible. So this is it for the aldehyde. So these are all the aldehydes. Now they said all the carbonyl compounds which can have this formula, which means we can we have to include the ketones as well. So first let's let's count how many aldehydes we have made in total. One, two, three and four, five and six, seven, eight and nine, and ten. So we have made ten aldehydes in total, and we can also have ketones for this for the same for the same general formula. Now you, if you remember. For hexanal, we had seven ketones in total. So we had seven ketones in total for hexanal, including stereo and structural isomers. So in total, there are 17 isomers which have this formula, structural and stereo included. If we had to uh, talk about only structural isomers, then there were six for the ketone. And for the aldehyde, there were one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So seven for the aldehyde. So if they were only they were only asking for structural isomers, there would be 13. But if they ask for structural and stereo both, there are 17 isomers in total because we have to consider all the ketones and all the aldehydes with this general formula. So with this, we end the isomerism of carbonyl compounds. We, now we know how to use functional isomerism in this case. So let's move further with the chemistry of ketones. So formation of ketones. Now, in the formation of a ketone, we use a secondary alcohol. We oxidize a secondary alcohol. So when we were forming an aldehyde, we can use uh, we, we used a primary alcohol. When we use when we have to form a ketone, we will use a secondary alcohol. So you have to remember this difference. And uh, if you remember, we were using heat and distill off for the prime for the formation of aldehyde, but for the formation of ketone, we use heat under reflux because even though the aldehyde further oxidizes to a carboxylic acid, the ketone does not further oxidize to anything. So for this reason, we can do a direct oxidation for, of a secondary alcohol and the secondary alcohol will oxidize to the ketone. Now we can use K2Cr2O7 again for this oxidation as the oxidizing agent, which is potassium dichromate. And the color change we will see is orange to green. You have to remember these colors. If we use potassium manganate, which is KMnO4, then the color change we see is purple to colorless. In the case of KMnO4, it's purple to colorless. In the case of K2Cr2O7, it is orange to green. Now, as you can see, this is a secondary alcohol. If you do not know what primary, secondary and tertiary alcohols are, you should watch my playlist on alcohols, esters and carboxylic acids. Now, uh, this uh, secondary alcohol, which is propen, pro, propen 2 all, propen 2 all oxidizes to propenone. And it oxidizes to propenone and, uh, and water is formed. So this is the oxidi oxidation of ketones. So now you know the difference between the oxidation of secondary alcohols and the oxidation of primary alcohols. Now, reduction of ketones. So again, we can use LiAlH4 or NaBH4. You can see that the conditions are the same as in the case of the aldehyde, reduction of aldehydes. So when we reduced aldehydes, we got back the primary alcohol. 
So likewise, when we reduce ketones, we get back the secondary alcohol. So it's pretty much the same thing. So now we can move.